By the way, shout out to Paxmas. Yeah. <laughs> also today, we got the, speaking of bo and Star Wars, Hasbro Pulse, they announced their Ahsoka wave that just dropped. Three figures and a lightsaber. Now, I've got my issue here. I wrote it in the uh, little description there. Patrick said, so did they meet up for talks this week? The writers did. The writers met up. I think it fell through the Marv- one, of, one of Marvel's VFX teams decided to, to unionize, but nothing with the actors, as far as I know. Sal says, my favorite thing about this channel is that we're just super, oh, super casual. I thought it was a comma there. That we're just super casual and we just kind of talk with her friends, their friends, our friends. Yes, I agree. I agree. So this Star Wars set dropped today. We got two new figures and a repaint and a new lightsaber, a new lightsaber. Now, I was immediately bothered by this as I am by everything every week, because that's just what we do. We whine, we bitch, we complain, and no action's done. That's, that's I, don't, I don't know what else you guys expect. But nonetheless, Ahsoka picture here, two lightsabers, white color. Ahsoka here, two lightsabers, white color. They dropped a lightsaber, 278. Now, I remember Disney did an Ahsoka Tana set with, that was like in a wooden box, I think. You opened it up, two lightsabers in it. They did an Obi-Wan Kenobi one, I think. You opened it up, two lightsabers in it. I don't understand why make this a single lightsaber kit. Like, it doesn't cost $278 to make this. We all know how business works. So why not make this some sort of like special edition two-pack? Definitely don't charge $400 for it. But I think, what was the HasLab? Hang on, let's, let's, how much were they charging for that, that bullshit? The Reva lightsaber. Uh, they took down the pricing. They did. Son of a bitch. I noticed this the other day, by the way, sidebar. We sidebar a lot on the show, if you haven't realized. Uh, if you can deal with it, please, welcome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> What was the, the Revel lightsaber? How much did it cost? Because they, what they've done over the last month is they got rid of all the pricing on the non-past Haslabs to like stop us from critiquing. I know it. it didn't, it's not an accident. The price is not here. No way. I'm just going to scroll down, make sure I'm not talking down to my butt. I'm not. What was this? Four something? Four fifty? Five hundred? And it didn't spin. I feel like that was the, the cost thing there. Anyway, make it less than that. 350, two lightsabers in a box. Boom. Four, yeah, it was like 499 or something. It was something crazy. The character rocks two lightsabers at all times. At all times. Why? Like, why do this? I don't understand. I have no issue with the fact that it's not a combat saber. I have no issue with the fact that maybe it doesn't come in a wooden box or, or, you know, the only accessories really like the stand, you know, whatever. Yeah. 499, but she rocks too, you know, she rocks too. And on the bullshit pre-order will be available to ship approximately October 1st, 2024. Now Hasbro does notoriously, ship things early it does tend to happen does it beat stores no but a lot of times they end up shipping before the estimated date but i'm tired of uh, uh, and i don't know who's to blame here i should you know i'm gonna reach out to steve steve is where's he at i've been tagging him and stuff actually because when i like stuff i tag him mr steve 18 is a product designer director at Marvel or even Dan. If I can get Dan on, that'd be dope. But I want to just be like, Hey guys, um, I roast your shit all the time. 
I also love your shit all the time. Can you don't tell me how it went with this specific thing, but can you give us an idea of how long or how much time passes between Disney saying, Hey, we got this show coming out and now we're going to give you the assets to make this thing. Like what's the time span? Cause the stuff like this never makes sense to me. It never makes sense to me. This is coming out a year after the show, a year and two months after the show comes out. Like, why are you doing that? Where was the other one? Let's see. This one's November this year. Cause I mean, it's a repaint. They just put it in a new box. So easy. That's an easy one. KO in the house. Good to see you. Uh, where are you at? December of this year. Like, why does it take so long? And I remember, who was it? There was the girl that was on Kenobi's show. Kenobi, if you're still here, let us know in the chat. She does a lot of the molding and 3D design for Hasbro and other companies. So it wasn't like a specific Hasbro thing. But she's like, a lot of times they'll come to her and be like, hey, can you sculpt this figure and or this person? And she'll look at it and be like, oh, shit, that's cool. Let, like, let's use, you know, let's use uh, Kino as an example. They come to her, right? And they're like, hey, can you give us a sculpt of Ernie Reyes Jr.? Oh, shit, yeah. And then Sarah Lynn Reynolds. There you go. I knew you were still here. I appreciate you. Um, they'll come to her and be, by the way, uh, if anybody can find, maybe you, Kenobi. Kenobi's interview with her, put it in the chat, please. Everybody check it out. They'll come to her and be like, hey, can you sculpt Ernie Race Jr.? She'll be like, cool. She'll work on it. Takes however much time. And then she submits it back to them. And sometimes they don't even make the figure. Sometimes they're like, oh, we just want to see what it would look like if we did it. Oh, we're thinking about, we're thinking about doing this show. We're not quite sure. We think this actor might do the show. We're not sure. So start working on a toy just in case the actor decides to do it. So it makes me think there's quite a lot of time in between when they find out versus when they are going to release. But something like, you know, this one in particular, it, it, it bothers me. I'm like, there's no like mold to make. And you already have a Sokotana lightsabers. So like you have them at Disney, Disney parks and stuff, you know? So the cost, the distance, uh, the distance between like when the shows are not like, I'm like, you're kind of screwing yourselves. You kind of screw yourselves every time. And I would like to know, I want to ask them, Steve and Dan, what are we getting wrong and how this works? Because maybe if they explain it, we'll be like, oh, you know what? I get it. I get it. Actually, um, where was it here? Aaron says, is the date legit or is it like pushed out date so they won't have, so they have wiggle room like fall 2024, but it would be November 6th. Or yeah, yeah, they sometimes do that with the dates. But I remember somebody went at Dan on Twitter. Dan is one of the Marvel um, creators as well for Hasbro. Somebody went, on, went at Dan and was like, like the rest of us when they announced the Ant-Man wave, we're like, dude, you're announcing the Ant-Man wave like today. The movie's dropping next week with a release date of the figures nine months later. Like, what's the deal? And Dan actually jumped in the comments. It was like, that wasn't our fault. They literally moved the movie date or yeah, they moved the movie up months. So we actually were going to release kind of at the same time, but they moved the movie so far in advance forward that there's no way we could have done it. No way we could have done it. And I was like, fair. With this lightsaber, I kind of questioned it. I'm like, this show, the show was in the works for a while. Like how, how much did this screw you over? I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm crazy. When was Ahsoka announced? Yeah, it was announced during Celebration, right? Easily being produced before that. We knew it was coming. Like at Celebration, we were all like, where's the Ahsoka trailer? Like we knew it was happening. So, um... 
Sal shared the link. Dope. My understanding, they get concept art one to two years prior to the movie's TV show. Yeah. Like, that was a thing, right? That, I'm getting so worked up here. That was a thing where I, I think of Star Wars every time. I remember Phantom Menace dropping. I already had toys in my hand. Like, they properly knew the assignment and... You had Darth Maul in your hands. You had lightsabers in your hands. And when that movie dropped in theaters, you went to the theaters with your shit. And you were you were all in. And the same thing happened for episode two. The same thing happened for episode three. Hell, it even happened with uh, The Last Jedi. I was trying to get my hands on Last Jedi shit bef- before the movie came out. Because you see the trailer, you're like, oh shit, that's hype. And you want to buy it. But... What happens now because of, I don't know whose fault. I would love for them to just say like who creates the the pecking order here, but because of the way things happen now, like, like this wave right here, like who's going to, who's going to buy the, the, the Disney plus TV show wave. You, you buy Nick, you really going to buy Nick Fury. You really gonna spend twenty four ninety nine after the show we just got? No, but if this toy was out a month before the show came out, boom, sell out, and now you're stuck with a figure, and you're like, I hate that show. Guys, if you can, please drop us a link. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you, love. Thank you for the love. A like, I think he meant to say. Aaron says selling only one to make people buy two. I, yeah, but the thing is, fans are smart now. Fans are smart now. T3 says COVID messed up all the Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar release schedules. I get it, but there's no way we, we're still that far out of order that this figure is dropping now. After the show literally just had a finale. No way. I already pre-ordered that Disney Plus wave. (laughs) LOL. (laughs) The build a figure at 70%. Maybe. Maybe. Sal blames his hands for typos. Patrick says, I thought they dropped the first what if wave or at least announced before the season. Yeah, so they dropped the, the, the what if wave a while back also after the show ended. But that was one of those rare cases where the show was so good. It wasn't the greatest show, but it was so good that even after the fact, people were like, oh, I want these versions of those characters from the show. At this point, one, people already forgot about Winter Soldier and Captain America. So Yolanda, that she's going to peg warm. Sam Jackson, dead in the water. This Nick Fury dead in the water. Agatha, people forgot about WandaVision. People already over WandaVision. WandaVision is what? Eight shows removed by this point? Or eight releases removed at least by this point? Kingpin's here. Great. Cool. Do I dig the face sculpt? Not really. But where's my Daredevil? Daredevil should have been in this wave. I think Gamora is the only one that moves because I'd love to have this Gamora next to my Thanos from Endgame up there. And yes, the build a figure here is dope. Build a figure in this set. They include a picture. They did not. The build a figure is the Steve Rogers in the Hydra Stomper, which I don't even know if it's going to be that large of a figure. Yeah, see, like with her, you get the the heads and the jetpack. WandaVision is almost three years. That's crazy. That is crazy. Three years old. JB says, need that Sam Jackson head sculpt. Yeah, the I mean... Again, like if this thing, if this figure was out 
like it's not even pinless. It's got this trench coat, so you can't even like move the damn thing. Like the what's new on this figure outside the head sculpt? The trench coat. But outside of that, I'm like, what takes so long for this figure to drop? And at now, because the show sucked, nobody's going for this thing. Unless you want the head sculpt. But does the hat come off? Hat doesn't come off. Come on. Come on. Daredevil will get his own Disney Plus wave. Yeah, but if the, again, if the show sucks, what does I do for it? And I, I, I'm sure Hasbro's aware. I need Daredevil versions from the Netflix show. We need the black suit Daredevil. We need a de- Daredevil in the red suit. Give me a battle damage Daredevil. Give me Matt Murdock. Give me Matt. Mur- give me Daredevil with a uh, the mask off, bloodied up. Give me Matt Murdock with the freaking hand wraps, shirtless, scarred up. Give me all the fucking Daredevils. Timing doesn't matter, but he should have been in this wave still. If you got Kingpin here. Got Kingman here. Like, why not? Why not? Getting old, y'all. <laughs> yeah, three years ago. Three years ago. That's insane. But yeah, going full circle. I don't know. Some of these moves, I would just love them to come on and just be like, hey man, you guys have the wrong idea about how this works. This is how it works. And I'll be fine with that. That'll be completely fine with that t3 says just wait until september when the marvel legends team announces the spider-man no way (laughs) no way home wave two a year late yeah is that even a year late or is that two years late but no this this soka blade should have been a two-pack easy easy and anybody who pays full price for this and doesn't wait for a warehouse sale, you're a sucker. You're a sucker. That shit's 278. If I type in, look at that. How much is the power sword? 219. Less than that. Because I'm sure they got to pay Disney. You can get this for 219. Less than that. Yeah, no. Bro, don't, bro. Do not be a sucker. Do not be a sucker. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I guess last thing, ending my rant today. Uh, they started promoting again pretty hard on the HasLab. It jumped about a 1,000 people, I'd say, this week. But it was under a slowdown, I'd say. It, we had quite the slowdown from was that two weeks ago now yeah two weeks ago we were at eight thousand this past week they hit like nine thousand backers and then they started doing some some uh more promotions to this they were promoting today ezra i believe on their live stream so people out here spending uh a thousand dollars or People spending $500 just to get a three and three quarter Ezra Miller figure, Ezra Miller, Ezra Bridger figure. Oh, God. 